YouTube, how you guys doing today? Well, today I'm going to be making a Cyrax video. Man, I, I, I was watching this earlier, and it was just so unbelievable and hilarious at the same time that I have to make a video on it. So, yeah, it, I've got, I would be, a, it would be remiss of me not to do so, you know what I mean, kind of thing. Because, you, know, you know, we're all uh, Rackstorians, right? Araxologist, what what some people call it different things, and you know that it is what it is. We're we're studying the history of Cyrax, the never-ending, repeating cycle of really, really, unimaginably, amazingly stupid actions, and he always blames everyone else. But at the end of the day, the only person that is to blame is one is uh, only a mirror away for Cyrax. But yeah, let's get into this. So he's trying to link, and he says that he can't get through. What do you mean? I don't know. He asked if you could please post the chat, the, the link in the chat. I mean, I know that you have like direct correspondence with him, so it's confusing, but... I just sent the exact same link that I'm on with you here. Oh, wow. Um, personally, I don't, I don't really believe him. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, um, so does that mean that I win? I don't know what you're talking about winning or losing. We're just here for well, discussion. Saying, well, you sure. I'm saying like being allowed to stay on this platform. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hang on a second. Did you put it in the chat? Uh, I, I mean, I will. Uh, sure. Oh, here we that, go. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's work. Okay. All right. Now, so, let's, let's just get right down to business here. Nick, okay. yeah. I would say right now that you and your two friends, William and N-Word Boy, need to leave me alone. That doesn't just mean on YouTube. That means all across social media, period. You guys need to leave me the hell alone. You guys have been doing this shit for over seven years. It mm. needs to freaking stop. All three of you guys, not just you, not just William, not just N Word Boy. All three of you guys need to leave me alone. Because let me tell you something, dude. I am under strict doctor's orders. And it even says it on the paper, which I currently do not have on me, but I did read it. And it does, in fact, say, and it's also from my doctor's mouth themselves, I am not to be under any kind of stress period and what you did last night by by reporting my shit on other sides well here's no, the thing no, no, no. shut the fuck up dude well what do you want to bet cyrax uh, stays civil and acts like a normal person and goddamn man that boy has some scabs today and he's got his bottle of bed bug fucking killer in the in the fucking shot in the back in the in the closet, you know, which is also where Chance is. He's also in the closet, you know, but, you know, not a not a real closet. Like, a, you know, he needs to come to terms with himself kind of closet. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've heard that Heather girl said that he couldn't get it up, you know. So Chance might be, uh, you know, why do you get, you know, I mean, he, 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 we all know he is. But the first, first, his first sex act was probably sucking off blind Billy, raping him. That was probably Chance's first. Yeah, I bet it was. Anyway, yeah, fucking let's see what Chance has to say. And he's already off to a great start. Them scabs, though, man. Holy shit, that's bad today. But, yeah, let's get into this shit. Let's watch a little bit more Cyrax. See what he's got to do. See what he's got to say. Look, I honor the terms of service everywhere. No, it's that's just... the thing, though, dude. Your not ban evading isn't ban evading, dude. It's called you not wanting me to make money. That's all it is, you dumb fuck. That's all it is. It's called you don't want me to make money. That's all it is. That's all it's ever been, Nick. You don't want me making money because mm. you and William and Edward Boy aren't in on it. You don't want me making money if you guys can't make money. And that's not fair to me. That's not fair to my family. That's not fair to my friends. That's not fair to the people that want to see me win, that want to see me do good. You know, forget about me for a second, dude. No. But what about those that want to see me do good, man? 
What about those that want to see me succeed? You well, ever think about no? You ever stop thinking about them for a second? That's a really rough no, start. You no, you didn't. You don't think about them, dude. All you think about is yourself because you're a selfish fucking prick. You're selfish as fuck. And just like women and we're boy, you hate to see the little guy win. That's why you go after the weird ones. That's why you go after the ones like me that look different. And your whole freaking oh. channel shows it, dude. Your whole channel fucking shows it, man. What I find very interesting about Chance is he always tries to skirt around why Marty fucks with them. And it's because he got trolled by, you know, Kate from Mass Hole Reports, you know, and got, you know, exposed for talking to a 13-year-old decoy and, you know, sending his horrible little goblin penis to them. You know what I mean? And that that is fucking... And he actually, he's like, you just don't want, to. it's because I look different. No, it's because you got catfished by people who said they were teenagers and then you sent pictures of your penis to them. That's what it is. It's not anything else. That's what the, and then the reason Marty fucks with you so hard is because you've done shit like calling ridiculous racist shit like a hook-nosed Jew and a fucking all kinds of shit you've called him, man. You're an evil, evil little goblin, Cyrax, and that's, that's why people don't like you. But yeah, let's watch a little bit more of this shit. Well, so it's okay. time that you and William and Edward boy grow the fuck up. You guys okay. need to move the fuck on and do something else, man. Why Stop screwing they... with people, man. Mm -hmm. Stop bullying people, dude. Nobody's fucking buying the bullshit that you're feeding them. Have I'm you not... not looked at your chat, dude? Nobody's buying your bullshit anymore, dude. Yeah, hey, am you... I wrong? Am I wrong, CIA? No, like, like, um, how did your interview go, Marty? Well, so, uh, it, it ours, seem ours, or, no, I should say, ours, ours. Went, I'd say ours went pretty damn good. Chances went really great. Oh, Miss Kelly, how are you doing today? Oh, hi, Shan. I, I'm doing well. How is everyone doing today? Oh, uh, I was doing a lot better before this guy started screaming at me. But here's the thing, though, Marty, you have to understand, man. You put me through seven years of freaking hell, dude. Seven years of hell you put me through. You've gone after my family. You've gone after my friends. Every time I try to make any kind of money, you screw it up for me. All because you have this weird obsession with me, and it needs to fucking stop, dude. You and your two friends, William and Edward, boy, you guys need to move on and stop screwing with people. This whole thing of banovating, like I said, it's not banovating. It's called you guys don't want me making any money. And yes, she has seen the screen. It's not yeah. banning, dude. It's yeah, called sure. you don't want me making money. Yeah. Uh, Miss Kelly, Miss uh, Ke Kelly, I I don't think you're aware of this latest um, thing. Is that um, Chance was attempting to stream on a platform uh, known as Kick? When we understand it's a competitor of YouTube's, but nonetheless, it's still another platform. And um, Marty had his minions go out and. Um, shut down Chance's channel under the guise of ban evasion. And, which, is, which is a bunch of garbage. Yeah, we had sent you that that evidence earlier this morning. I don't know and, if you look And at that it. also does show that that's one of the many things that he does even on here. Like the last time that I was that I was like super close to a thousand actually no, I was at a thousand, wasn't I dude? Oh, Yo, so yeah, yeah. Was, wasn't I at a thousand <laughs> subs the last time that he had struck down my channel? Yeah. Well, Mrs. Kelly, can maybe can you illustrate the importance of the term of service, specifically ban evasion? Like, to the, my understanding, once you're terminated once, that's final. That That is correct. Once you are banned from the platform, it exhibited that you did not operate under our terms of service. So you cannot evade the ban by making another channel and continuing okay, well, with the same Kelly, content. Right, Ms. Kelly, let me channel. And I'm not, I'm not hating on you guys because like I said, you guys have done a lot to help out. Well, let, let me challenge that real quick. Is it fair to say that if, say, like Marty or William or N-Word Boy gets banned, does it not go against your terms of service that they make another channel? Because that's exactly what these three have done. Every time they get banned, they make another channel. That's not true. Actually, that is. And CIA can actually verify that. Can you not? I mean, I think we're on Music Biz Marty account number 142. I mean, you're so well, that's great. That's my lucky number. So, it's my high bowling game. 
Mm. No, that's your that's your account number by this time, dude. You that is literally the number of accounts that you've made, Marty. I've only had like what four, maybe five accounts since you first got me unfairly banned a couple of years ago. So I don't know if this will make this right. any easier for me, but I can show you a bowling scorecard with 142 on it. If that will, well, uh, Marty, that has nothing to do with this. That has nothing to do. Well, with that's exactly it has everything to do with it. That's no, it does not. Happening. Hmm. Well, I will say I am provided evidence of the existence of 141 other accounts that unfortunately would be hearsay unless I'm provided evidence of those other accounts existing. And CIA, do you have any of the other, do you have any screenshots of the other accounts on hand or anything like that, man? It's not a, definitely not 141 of them. Uh. <laughs> she, she fucking tells him what ban evasion is and then Chance starts talking to shit. What the fuck, man? He is a fucking genius, though, isn't he? He's so smart. His uh, his stratagems that he uses against Marty are without compare. You know, he's he's just so just so awesome, man. And his scabs, man, his scabs are ridiculous. How can anyone take anybody with scabs like that on their head, fucking seriously? I mean, it's because he has bed bugs. He's got the bed bug, you know, spray that I was talking about earlier. It's in his fucking closet at the top. It's that yellow. That's it's that yellow bottle, and he's got all kinds of lotion on next to his bed and stuff. Man, Chance is fucking. It's not going for the way he thinks it's gonna go. He he already looks ridiculous, but I haven't watched all this. I watched like thirty minutes of it, but he gets even worse towards the end. He's that boy ain't right, man. Um, but do you have like like just any of them in general on hand? Yeah, I mean, he's got another one called, like, Prison Bitch Marty. Um, oh, yeah, but I've never been banned. I've shut down my own accounts. That's my account. should be an active mm. account. Yeah. So mm. whenever, whenever so I... Someone, someone can have multiple accounts as long as they do not break terms of service. Mm. Well, that's the thing, though. That's what he's doing. He's trying to make it look like he's not breaking terms of service. That's why when okay. you guys got involved, he ended up hiding a lot of the videos. He indeed has broken terms of service many 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 times the first time that i got banned it was on it was done unfairly because i had hit a thousand subscribers and i was starting to do very well for myself i had just hit it i was literally on my way to getting monetized and because i was on my way to monetization marty did not want me making money he has always had this weird does everything to do with ethics and rules and compliance and Martin, listen, you're a scam artist. You know you are. No. That's why you hide every single freaking thing that you do, dude. Every time, dude, every time police or some form of authorities get involved, you run and hide like a fucking coward because oh, you language. don't want to get caught. Language. That's all it is, man. You don't want to get caught. That's all it is, man. That's all it's ever been, dude. And like I told you, Marty, had you left me alone since day one, we wouldn't be in this situation. But because you refused to leave me alone, look where we're at. All because you could not leave me alone when I told you to back off day one. Ms. Kelly, from what I understand, you want to see if both of us could interact amicably and peacefully. And do you think... Like, all, I, I mean, all I've asked of you, Marty, is that you leave me alone. You and your three, you and your two, two or three friends, or whoever it is that you talk to. That's all I've ever asked out of all you guys is that you guys leave me alone. And what I don't understand is why is it that you refuse to do that? Well, so I just want to exist on this platform and make content. And it does, yeah. And I, I get that, Marty, but that doesn't mean you have to go around bullying people to make them make money off the backs of other people because that's exactly what your channel does. You make money off the backs of other people and you make money by bullying people. That's what your channel is all about. You've done it to me, you've done it to other people. Matter of fact, CIA, how many people has he done this to already that's been on his channel? Sorry, people laughing at what you say and do is not is not bullying. What goes on on most of these YouTube channels is just commentary on the ridiculous things that Cyrex does. You know, we just are, we're all in amazement at how Cyrex is. Uh, he he's if you take breaks from him, you can only take so much Cyrex at a time, man. 
I got burnt out on him, and I didn't watch for like a month or something like that. But yeah, I, I'm I'm back watching Cyrax. I had I had fun. Wa- I'm having fun watching this shit because this is just so ridiculous. You know, Kelly isn't real. You know, none of that shit is real. But it is funny that they're playing it off like it is real. Maybe CIA uh comes out at the end and is like, "Fuck you, Chance. I never liked you. You're just an idiot, and I'm a buddy troll, and you're too stupid to see it." It could happen. You never know. If you like one of them world wrestling fucking betrayal, the dude that's supposed to help you comes out and hits you in the back of the head with a fucking chair or some shit like that, right? Oh, God, I don't even know. And don't forget about that kid that um, that William forced into suicide, that Lego collector kid. Well, that's on him. Yeah. I have no problem throwing one of the bus. If, if yeah, all- but William, William has his interview next week, Wednesday. Well, yeah, that is, that's correct. That's something I'll be addressing with Mr. N-Word Boy. Currently, yeah. I, no, I was hoping we could. That's do. Glory Hole, Mister. That's Mister Glory Hole. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so can you define of- bullying? Like, how does so? I looked at the terms of service, and it seems that bullying uh, in your in your TOS only applies to children. No, that applies across the board. Mm, that's where you're wrong. There's harassment and hate speech. There's excessive. Yeah, what, what you're doing does fall under harassment, dude. I think it would be unfair to expect that that Miss Kelly has the terms of service memorized Bible and verse. No, that's that's perfectly fine. So I'm just I understand that there's like a uh, corporate culture and, and there's all the this, Marty. Ethos. All right, let me ask you this then, Marty. Sure. If if I'm sitting there minding my own business, like I have been trying to do for the last mm-hmm. seven years, and you're sitting there attacking me, literally you know, for no reason and making fun of me and doing this and doing that out of just out of pure common knowledge. What would you, what, what would anybody on earth call that? I would so, call that bullying. Wouldn't you so say I, that? Well, so my opinion is that I'm allowed to exercise my first amendment. Right. And for example, if I see you claiming that I tried to murder you with a bullet, and you Which the video it. footage is right there, dude. The video footage is there, man. Not to mention the freaking uh, body cam footage from that one day that we didn't know about. For those of you that uh, don't know um, about the bullet in, uh, incident, see what happened was uh, Chance was doing a live stream and he was sitting there picking his ass, and then uh, you hear a snap noise and you see his his, she- his sheet move. And Chance, later on, he tried to pretend like he got shot, you know, like someone shot a bullet and then it was an ice bullet, so it disappeared. Or he also tried to say that it was lodged in his mattress and all this shit. And he kept trying to say that Marty tried to have him killed and all this. He's so crazy. Uh, poor, I mean, God damn, man. Uh, can you um, just the, the stuff that comes out of his mouth, the shit that he makes up, uh, the ice bullet. And then there's this little hole in the window that, you know, is cracked and it didn't look fresh or nothing like that. In addition to the fact that if you shoot a window with a bullet, it's going to shatter the bullet because bullets are moving really fast. You know what I mean? But, yeah, let's watch this shit. Let's see what he's got to say now. What are you talking about? Now we didn't know about until the next day until we saw the body cam footage. I mean, let's be honest, Marty. You and I both know that long before this shit got out of control, you were already threatening me to begin with because I wasn't doing what you wanted. I still have the screenshots on my phone, which I will be more than happy to find and send to Miss Kelly showing where you stated specifically that unless you get what you want, that I could die in a ditch on the side of the road for all you care. I Did you see that evidence? Shots. I still have those. I would be more than happy to send those to her. Once she knows probably the time, right? I think, that, I think that we sent her absolutely everything that you had, didn't we? That's just off the computer, and that's off of what of me and you grabbed, dude. That's not a, that's not even counting on my phone, dude. Mm. That's just off of... I would be interested in any further evidence you do have, Mr. Wilkins. Oh, I would, gl- I would gladly send that over to you, for sure. Hmm. Well, like I said, Marty, all I have ever asked of you and your friends is to leave me alone. And let me do what I need to do to make the money that I need to be able to make so that I can be successful for my family, so that I can do good for my friends, so that the people that want to see me succeed can see me succeed. Whether that's doing gameplay videos, 
whether that's making merchandise, whether that's releasing music, whatever it is I'm doing on this platform. All I've ever asked is that you guys leave me alone. And you guys have not done that. See, I, how many times in the past, I'd say month, have I asked him to back off and leave me alone? At least a million. You know, Miss Kelly, I, I don't want to start, you know, making accusations and calling names. But, I mean, for me, just kind of being a third party, like, observer to the whole thing and trying to have it come to an end, my frustration lies in that observing a guy who is just so clearly out of touch with reality, absolutely 110% delusional, has this like this, these delusions of grandeur that, that he's a master of all. And it just, it, it, it it's, it's mind boggling to me. I, I can't, I'm just sitting here right now trying to wrap my head around it. And it, it, I, I don't know. I'm speechless. Do, do you think chance is smart enough to know that, CIA is dead ass talking about him or not? Probably not. Cyrex is the kind of person that, uh, since he distrusts everybody, the people that he does let into his trust, he trusts completely. You know, it's like Dale Gribble, you know, never Nancy says to Hank, you know, she says, uh, oh, it's easy to, to fool Dale just so long as he trusts you. You know, he shouldn't have stole his mower. That was a fucked up episode. Wasn't it a fucked up episode, though? They all thought they were so funny for stealing his mower. And, man, that was a, they were assholes to Dale. Dale was cool as fuck. But, yeah, let's watch some more of this shit. It's definitely unusual, and I can understand how it could be frustrating. Right. Okay, you can take pot shots at me all you want, Miss Kelly and CIA, and that's perfectly fine. But I'm not the one screaming the N word and whipping my penis out. You want to know why I did that, Marty? It was out of desperation because of what you fucking put me through, dude. Because police wouldn't do anything. FBI and detectives wouldn't do anything. And you had me back into a corner so many freaking times because I would not do what you wanted. What did you expect, dude? When you push somebody into a corner and you keep on poking them and attacking them over and over and over again. And you attack their family and you attack their friends like you have me. What do you expect to happen, dude? When I don't call you a hot I don't call you a When you put somebody that far, they're going to say and do things that they would normally never do. I don't you threaten to harm you physically, Chance. That's you. No, That's dude, you put me in that position, dude. I didn't put myself there. You put me there. Ms. Kelly. I tried to walk away several times, Nick, and you wouldn't let me. This guy has threatened to kill me so many times. He's because to... you put me in that position, Nick. And plus, how many times have you threatened my mom? How many times have you threatened me? Quite a few. Know. What do I threaten you with? Well, let's see. CIA, would you, would you care to count off some of the stuff that he said to me? Oh, my God. I don't even know where to begin. I, I think the, the challenging part here that we were able to take away from our conversation the other day is that there is, there, there's definitely um, a, a proverbial smoking gun. And the problem that we're running into is that the evidence that is required on YouTube's behalf to actually take that next step is something that we were trying to pull together. In lieu of that, I think trying to come to an amicable solution amongst the parties probably be most beneficial. Um, Ms. Kelly, you had mentioned something earlier about character and how character um, on the platform is something that YouTube um, embraces. You know, you want people that are of strong character, good people, upstanding citizens. Yes, of good moral standing. Yes, I did say that. Yes. Yeah. And okay. I guess, do, you think that, do you think that involves whipping your penis out and screaming racial slurs and death threats, though? Nick, like I, Nick, she already knows about that. And I already explained to her the whole situation. I explained it to her. Did I not see I You did. I mean, it, it clears. I will say a very unusual it. situation. I have dealt with many creator disputes online. This has been the first incident I have heard of someone uh, right. exposing their penis as a form of revenge. Right. And like, and like I said, it wasn't necessarily a form of revenge. It was one of those things where my family did try to go the legal route. We we actually exhausted every every single 
legal outlet that we could, you know, possibly go through. Yeah, and like, we, like if, it, if he was in the same room, if he was in the same room with Marty, and Marty had him backed into a corner, I can guarantee you, he's not whipping his dick out. You know, he's going to lunge after Marty. But I mean, in that moment. It's either, you know, smash his screen or whip his dick out. I mean, that's what he chose to do. Man, get the fuck out of here. Anybody really from YouTube, if he ever talked about whipping his dick out on stream, they'd be like, well, it looks like you're banned, Chance, forever. Don't ever use our platform ever again. And that's what would really happen. The audacity of this guy. Tried to act like, well, it's okay. Uh, you pushed me to whip my dick out live on stream. It's like, no, dude. That wouldn't even occur to anybody, man, whipping their dick out on the stream. Well, maybe Daniel Larson. But, you know, other than anybody other than some crazy guy like Andrew Ditch or Daniel Larson or World of T-Shirts, you know, any of them crazy guys like that, they're less crazy than Cyrax, man. Because only Daniel flashed his dick on live. And that's because, you know, they were telling him, oh, Grace Van Der Waal loves you. She wants to see your pee-pee. You know, then there was a toothbrush incident where, uh, for some reason, one of the fake Grace Vanderwalls convinced uh, Daniel to shove a toothbrush in his ass and then proceed to brush his teeth with his own feces. But, yeah, it was pretty gross. But, yeah, it, that happened. Yeah, that that was a thing. All right. Well, let's watch some more of this shit. Here's the Not thing. If you're in the same, if you're in the same room, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to that. But the fact that he's all using I, it. All I have ever asked of you is that you leave me alone, man. You and your two friends, William and Edward Boy, all I have ever asked is that you guys leave me alone. Mr. Wilkins, I, I, I do want to make it clear that whatever happens between you and Mr. Music Biz Marty, this is an isolated situation, and the Mr. William Glory Hole and Mr. Edward Boy is a separate though, situation. But, well, that's the thing, though. It's actually not an isolated thing. All three of them have been working together this whole time doing all this. And CIA can actually back that up. He has shown and he's actually sent you evidence and shown that they do talk. They all three do work together as a cohesive unit to do stuff to keep me from being able to proceed on this platform to be able to do what I need to do to be able to make money. It's all three of them together. And all I have ever asked of, of Marty here and his two friends is that they leave me alone and let me do what I need to do. But instead, they choose to do stuff like harass me, harass my family, attack my friends. They even at one point, and I'm not, well, the video is probably still up either on this channel or one of the other channels. He actually managed, or the three of them actually managed to get my adoptive dad on this panel and actually got him to disown me in front of over a thousand people on this platform. Well, I know it sounds like a shameless self-promotion, but uh, I made a Gordon video, really good one from the, the day that it happened. If you guys want to watch that, go check that out on my channel. But here's for the here's the really short story for people that you know don't have hot, large attention spans. All right, see. Gordon uh, divorced Sally whenever Gordon, whenever Chance was like, I think he was eight or nine years old or some shit like that. And he left and never had any contact with him. And uh, Gordon's girlfriend, for whatever reason, decided in like, I think it was like 2006 or seven, that uh, Chance could go visit him, you know, because he's his father from his childhood and all that bullshit. Well, you know. Chance being Chance, you know, he goes over there and uh, he starts talking shit all the time. And then uh, Ch uh, Gordon's girlfriend was there. I don't know. I think they're married now, wife. But anyway, Gordon's wife or girlfriend or whatever the fuck she is, she was there. And uh, there was a Facebook post from Chance's aunt. And it said, uh, I've died and went to heaven. And it had a picture of her on the couch with all her animals around her. And, you know, Chance being Chance, you know, having his amazing intellectual capacity thought that um <laughs> thought, thought that it was uh uh shit he thought he thought that fucking his aunt had died and he's like i need to go home i need to talk to my family you guys are trying to keep me here you know he said all kind of crazy shit to her and uh she said i don't give a fuck what you do you can leave if you want you crazy little shit and then he went outside and uh he stayed outside until gordon got home 
And whenever Gordon got home, uh, she told him what happened, and he went outside, and he was, hit, uh, he was hitting him in the head with the bill of his hat, yelling at him because, you know, he had been in the Army and shit like that. Well, anyway, as funny as it was, Gordon got on there and uh, was talking about his version of the story because Chance also said that he made him drink a bottle of vodka and all this crazy shit. So Gordon wanted to set the record straight. <clears throat> well, Gordon said that uh, he ne he never wanted kids like Chance. He never wanted any kids at all. And Sally decided that, you know, she took it upon herself to take Chance in. Well, he didn't want anything to do with the kid, and he left. And whenever uh, Cyrex Cyr started talking shit about uh, again later on, and Gordon was just like, Oh, roar, 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 roar. He's acting like he was a dog barking at him. But Gordon is probably a piece of shit, too, because as far as I know, him and uh, him and his wife, uh, they, they said that they're going to match donations. And I guess people donate all kinds of money, and they never match the donations, and they kept the money. Definitely a Chance Wilkins kind of character-building fucking uh, cornerstone of his youth, you know, his formative years. But, yep, that's the that's the story and the short of it. Watch my video. Watch it. Do it. It's really good, actually. I think it is. I don't know. I thought it was a good one. Well, if I can, really quickly. So this existed because Chance was making Facebook posts, calling the man out, calling him. That was between me and him, though. That did not concern you. That, I, I definitely got some form me. of coercion to get your uh, biological father on here. Yes, so he, was, he, was, he was looking for a piece or for a place to clear his name and... No, he was not, Nick. You so he actually, well, as a matter of fact, he was. Because no, after he came on my screen, after Nick, he came on my screen, lie, Marty, and you know uh, it. Well, he started his own channel just to stand up to Chance and to poke fun at him. So that's Marty, you and I both know that that's a lie, dude. You and he I did. Both know he did that. start his own channel. Well, yeah, that is true. But the rest of what you said, that's a freaking lie, dude. Mm -hmm. You and I both know that you got him up on your panel just so you can sit there and bash me. And well, so it wasn't me, it would have been somebody else, and he went on many other panels bashing you. He didn't well, leave you because of me. He left yeah. you because of you. No, no, he disowned me because of you and your He left friends. you because of you. Marty, you're the smoking gun in this whole thing, dude. Oh, man. Well, let's see. You want you want to know how you are, Nick? He was he on left your you panel. Long was, before no, I knew who no, he was. Nothing, Marty. He was on your panel. Which puts you at at fault. That puts you at the responsible end. You're the one that had him up on your panel. That's Nobody else had him up down to his house. That was you, man. That he was kicked you out of, he kicked you out of his home. He kicked you out of his home because he couldn't stand you. Let me tell you this, Marty. Whatever happened between me and him, you didn't. You had no right bringing him up on panel, dude. Well, it's, it's just, you it's, had it's, no right, Nick. You had no right, dude. None whatsoever. Miss Kelly, what, no, shut the hell up, dude. You had no right. Whatever went on between me and my dad, that was between me and him. If he wanted to reach out to me, he could have reached out to me in private. He reached out to me. No, you reached out to him. I yeah, know you guys did, dude. Yeah, I the only, only, only reason, only reason you were able to air that dirty laundry from his Facebook page is because we know you hacked it and then shared those posts. Oh my. <laughs> that's, that's not gross. a lie, that's Marty. Gross. That's true. Well, if there's hacking on Facebook, that is certainly something that should be addressed. But unfortunately, we are not Facebook. That's something you would have to take up with right, exactly. them. Right. Matter of fact, CIA, uh, later on, say like either later on, Denard and Marty, you think you can help me set something up with Facebook? Yeah, we could give it a try. That's for sure. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Well, so I think that only shows that uh, Google... Uh, well, I'm sorry, Facebook, a rival of Google and YouTube, really needs to bone up on their security. I'm just not to toot your own horn or anything, but uh, I don't think that would ever happen. Marty, you know, what that shows, Marty, is that you have this weird vendetta of screwing with people, and you'll do whatever it takes to get it. It don't matter to you. It don't matter whether you have to throw somebody under the bus. It don't matter whether you got to drag their family and do it. Drag their friends into it. It don't matter to you. Here's the deal. As long as you get what you want, they know. As long as you get what you want at the end of the day, that's what matters to you. But you know what matters to me? This platform. Being successful for my family, for my friends, and my fans that actually do want to see me do good, regardless of what you and your friends seem to think. I do have people that want to see me do well. But what I don't understand is. Why are you going to pick them? 
No, what I don't understand is why is it that since day one, you can never leave me alone. Every time I tell you to leave me alone, you refuse to do so. Every time. Every time I come on and I wholeheartedly and honestly apologize to you or I try to do something to try to better myself, you try to yank that away. Why is that, man? Why do you feel like you have to screw me over for the last seven years when all I've ever done was try to get the hell away from you and what you've done to me, man? You say that you want to make money, but yet every time I try to do it, you shut me down because I'm making money. But you it never doesn't make sense, dude. Never it happened. doesn't add up. Like, like, dude, for prime example, every time I try to make a merch shop for my YouTube channel, you and your friends go in and you mass report it. There's no proof that I have anything to do with that. Actually, so CIA, dude, CIA, how many times has he done that? Where's the proof? Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, more than we can count. It was, and not only that, what about the fake merch shops that you said above me, Marty? I have every yeah. right to. I have every right to make those merch shops. No, you don't. Not without my say so. Yeah, you that's, that's, my, that's, no, you that's, do not. Because well, that, I know. Man. Shut the hell up. Man. I know my rights, Nick. I know my rights. That is my likeness, and that is my image that you're using without my consent. You understand that Mrs. Kelly doesn't work for a civil court, right? Yeah, and you, 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 tried say, you, tried saying that, you tried saying that that glory hole shower curtain was like some kind of a tribute. Or the, you know, so I did make Miss Kelly, and I'll come right out and say this, and I'll admit to this, because um, I'm truthful and, and I have nothing to hide. No, it's chance, chance. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Wilkins, I'd like to hear what he has to say as well. So I made a shirt with Sally's face on it. It was like a halter top uh, sweatshirt thing and like long sleeves on it. It was Sally's face. It said free rapes at 339. Now, you know, I don't think you see how that has anything to do with YouTube. Is it distasteful? Maybe. It might speak to a lack of character, but he pushed me to that point. He no, made well, so how can that argument work for you, but not for me? Because every time I try to do something good, I try to actually put out real merchandise for my people. I do too. No, you don't. You make merchandise that goes against. Actually, it does go against YouTube's terms of services, man. My merch shop is it's not connected with YouTube at all. It don't if, matter. If it is hosted on a different company, it is outside my purview. You know, another thing, just, you know, Chance had mentioned character. Um, another thing that, that Marty does is he just relentlessly, like, torments and taunts. And the problem is, is that he's using your platform to do so. Perfect case in point was um, Chance's stepfather, Ed, will Marty organize the candlelight vigil for Ed, which in most circumstances you would say, well, that's really a nice gesture. The only problem is in this case, Ed's still alive. Yeah, my stepdad's actually downstairs watching TV right now. He's clearly still alive. Was he going through so any health crisis or medical distress? No, no man. He's what? a junkie. He overdoses like yeah. once a week. Hang on. Oh, Marty talking about Ed overdose, and that's just pretty funny. Chance is fucking insane, isn't he? That motherfucker has lost his damn mind, man. Wow. And he still thinks that person's really from YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, man. I guess it takes all kinds in this world, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Sometimes that's just the way things go. And this is, I hope that uh, they do it with William Gloryhole. They record this shit, but I doubt it's going to go that far. I don't know if this ends the whole thing tonight because I we're up to the point where I haven't seen now, so I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm just I'm just going to be as, just as surprised and shocked as you are. And who knows, maybe we'll have the same opinion. But yeah, let's watch this shit. He did have surgery like fairly recently. But he's actually doing very well. He's doing good. But what uh, CIA was getting at, he's done this not only to my stepdad. He's like obviously, like he said, which I honestly think, if I were you guys, like I would honestly start reaching out to some of the different, you know, storefronts that Marty has posted up. I would actually start. If I was you guys, this is just my opinion, and I think CIA would agree with this. I honestly think that you guys should actually do an internal investigation on Marty and his friends because there's a lot more going into it than just here on YouTube. These guys have been going after me and my friends and my family 
for many, many years now. And all I've ever tried to do, like I said, was to get away from what he's been doing. What these people, what he's been doing is, like I said, it makes you guys look bad as a company by oh. him doing this. Like, it really does make you guys look bad because he's over here doing what he's doing. And like I said, I've been doing YouTube since 2009. And when I started on YouTube in 2009, I knew that I was going to have haters. I was very aware of that. But what I did not, and I never, ever thought that I would ever have to deal with, was somebody like Music Biz Marty or his two friends coming on here and finding me out of nowhere, which is basically what happened. He found me out of nowhere. You had problems long know. before me, Chance. Do what? You had problems long before me. No, I did not. Who's Andrew Bailey? That's outside of YouTube, though. That's oh, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Account, Nick. I'm what talking about, about on YouTube specifically, dude. What about Candlestick? I did not have any issues, hardly with anyone at all, until you came in and you started attacking. What about, the, what about that eight-year-old girl? Remember Marty, that? shut the hell up, dude. You're trying to pull I'd like to hear about that. Yeah, so she there, has, there is no eight-year-old girl. Yeah, well, I can play the video if you want to see it. Slick, shut the hell up, dude. You I'll know you're lying out your fucking ass, bro. You know you are. No, so well, shut the I, hell I, up, I, man. I the video on hey, stop talking out your fucking ass, dude. Oh, you, you know you, I'm talking you, about you man. Nick, shut the fuck up, man. Oh. You and I both know that you're lying oh. out your Let's ass. Let's try to keep this conversation respectful, please. I'm he bullies me. Miss Kelly, but this man right here. And this is no offense. I understand to you. your frustration. I like I said to you, Ms. Kelly, this I mean no disrespect to you at all when I say this, but this man right here that has been bullying me for the last seven years, he does not deserve any kind of respect whatsoever. This man has bullied me, he has bullied my friends, he has bullied my family. This man has actually done stuff that could have him arrested. And the fact that he is still being allowed to do this stuff, I don't get it. And like I said, that's, it's nothing against well, you. So I'm not the one screaming the end word. This out, Chance. Marty, Marty, do you not realize that you're the one that started all this? When Thank I turned you. down, no, dude, you're the one that started all this. I'm man. amazed that you're Marty, allowed to scream the end word. You started all this, dude. You're you know you did. Let's and be honest, Marty. You're the one that started all this. Had you just no. left me alone? Had you just left me alone when I said to leave me alone day one? We wouldn't be in this position, man. But because of you, we're now in this position. So why is, I want to know why is it that since day one, you could never, never leave me alone. Before your ex, before all this other shit, why is it that since day one, you can never leave me alone? Why is that? Yeah, you can tell Kelly's not real because as soon as he starts talking about the eight-year-old girl, she would not be letting him just ramble on incoherent dumb shit. You know what I mean? They would fucking make him shut the fuck up and have Marty explain the claim that he just made. I mean, it's 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 fake, but it's still funny. I wonder, I don't know, man. We're CIA Hole and Marty working together on this. Is this like a double team on chance? I don't know. You know, I'm... I don't know, man. Sometimes it seems like CIA, did, you know, doesn't it, though? I mean, I don't know, man. There's all kinds of people in this world. And it, it, <laughs> Marty tries to tell him the reason why. I don't know how much. I, I was watching the chat on this. The chat was really good. I missed this. I specifically looked at, for that a couple of times today, and it didn't show up. And I missed this live. I would have loved to watch it live. Cause I'm wondering if y'all like to talk shit in the comments, but yeah, I mean, in that chat, yeah, but let's watch this shit. I okay. want the real. So, yeah, well, if you allow me to answer, I'd be more than happy to. Miss Kelly, you'll I see want, that he. I want the himself. real answer, not some fucking. You'll, no, you'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll see that he can't control himself or fight his you tongue. You know what, Marty? You know what, Marty? All I'm saying is this: you and your two friends need to leave me alone. That's all I have ever said is that you guys need to leave me alone. But you refuse to do it. Matter of fact, I have proof from your little friend William Gorial stating, "Well, well, what was that quote that he said last night, CIA? Well, what was that quote on that post?" No, oh, I don't know. I I could look it up. Yeah, go ahead and pull that up real quick. 
Let me see if I, I can. Actually, no need. I remember what it said. You know what's amazing? I think, I think the chance was the CEO. Thank you, thank you, Bonnie, not on my watch. That's exactly what the post said. Oh, it you says. You guys don't want me making money. It nope. says Chance thinks he can get away with trying to make money, not on my watch. That's a metaphor for obeying terms. No, of it's not. No, it is not a metaphor. That is a literal yeah. Marty. There it's is street video playing. Marty, shut the hell up, dude. There is video street footage. Playing. Marty, there is video footage that I've showed, that CIA has showed, of you guys basically saying that you guys don't want me making any kind of money or any kind of revenue whatsoever. There's video footage evidence of that, and they have it. Here's the thing, Mr. There Kelly. is no thing, dude. Any you're, a bully, you're a freaking bully, and you've been doing this for the last seven years, and it needs to stop, dude. This I'm weird. tired of it, man. I don't need the stress. My family doesn't need the stress. And you sitting there driving away my friends and family for what? So you can sit there and isolate me and make money off of my back? I don't think so, dude. What you're doing is bullshit, and it needs to stop, man. Yeah, Miss Kelly. Miss Kelly, yeah. we're we're far from being, or at least chances. He's not a litigious guy. But, you know, there's a lot of people in chat that are saying, um, you know, by YouTube enabling Marty and, and providing him the platform to engage in these seven years, uh, this seven year campaign of harassment and bullying, that YouTube may be somewhat culpable. And, um, you know, some people are suggesting that uh, Chance contact an attorney and possibly hold well, YouTube's feet. If it th is getting off YouTube. Yeah. I, this sounds like yeah. a criminal yeah. matter, which would also be outside of my purview. Well, sure. like well here's the thing: chances of chances obsessed with money. I've never applied for monetization. You know, I'm not in I, it for the I'm money. I'm obsessed with money. No, I'm obsessed with trying to make an honest living, and you're over money. here getting yeah, in the way of that, dude. You're getting in the way of that, Nick. You're getting in the way of what I'm trying to do, honestly. What so it's all about the money for you. It's all about the money for you. Garbage, Nick. Yeah. And anybody with a pair of eyes can see that, man. Mm -hmm. Your content is garbage. You make money off of bullying people. I'm not, I'm a, not a, trying to help people, man. Do do you not freaking realize? You know, I'm not do you in not a, realize the stress that you put me and my family and my friends through for the last seven years, or do you just not give a shit? Maybe you should find a less stressful job then. Because this is what. I want to do with my life. I want to be a, a choice, chance. Maybe if you, I if want you to be a content creator without being bullied and without being attacked by scumbags like you that sit there and use people to no, make name calling, money. please. Name calling. Yes. Let's try to. I understand you're very upset, Mr. Wilkins. Well, I but guess uh, I don't think name calling is going to advance this conversation. Right, and like I said, it's no it's no offense to you at all whatsoever, Miss Kelly. This is strictly coming from an old school creator that has been on this platform longer than even he has. I can tell you this guy's right now, and like I said, this is no shot at YouTube on a personal level. This is that as a creator, you guys need to have something more in place to prevent people like him from doing what they're doing. Because this man has made more accounts than more way more accounts than even I have. Every account that I have had to remake was because he sat there and unfairly got me shut down. But oh, yes, every so time I defend man. myself, every time I defend myself, they try to do what they can to you've been banned? So, so you've been saying you've been banned. So I can tell you this. If I get to two strikes, of a report we have to review every report we get so if it was approved and the strike was given that means someone has physically reviewed that and video I, and miss kelly i can tell you right now that is a load of garbage i know that physical people do not read it I we have an ai that system that flags videos automatically but yeah well that's, and that's if you were to saying, dispute like, the claim someone would have to physically review it and that's and Miss Kelly, I can tell you right now, I know for a fact that, that is garbage. I know for a fact that you guys do not have people working there physically reviewing the videos. Because if they did, you guys would see that this man is an internet bully and he should be treated as such. 
and you guys should be held responsible for what goes on on your guys' platform. It's like I said to you guys in that video. You guys should be held responsible for what goes on on this platform because you guys allowing this kind of content and what he does, it doesn't look very good. I on understand you your frustration, but it, it is unfeasible to manage every account on YouTube. Well, Mrs. YouTube lady who works at YouTube, I'm going to uh, disagree with you and say that people don't review the strikes, but, you know, because you work there, you, she probably knows more than you, Chance. <sighs> well, I probably bet this is getting towards the end of uh, Chance activity, threatening to sue YouTube. Chance is just an unsavory unlikable kind of guy you know I mean, he never figured out that you'll catch more flies with sugar than vinegar anyone who says something against him is his sworn enemy until the end you know he takes like, like a fucking a blood oath to slanish or some shit like that you know what i mean some fucking tabletop rpg kind of shit you know but yeah let's watch the rest of this shit yeah, and there's billions of them right yeah. Right. Like, like I said, I'm not. I'm not like holding you guys fully at fault. I'm just saying that like people like what, like the stuff like what Marty's doing, that makes you guys look bad as a company. And I don't want to see you guys look bad like that. Because like I said, I've been on YouTube since 2009, and I've enjoyed being on here and creating content. But I never once in my whole life thought I'd have to ever, ever have to put up with an internet bully like Music Biz Marty, who has been not only harassing me on here, but harassing me and my family in so, real life. Well, I'd like to give you an example. I want to give you an example of real life harassment. So, um, yeah, is, throwing, yeah. Hey, Marty, Marty, story. I just, Marty, I just got a report from your Discord server. You're, you're teasing some kind of a bombshell. Well, so, yeah, well. First and foremost, That's I want to address Mr. Wilkins' claim that uh, I've harassed him in real life. Well, so I've actually. There is no contesting that, dude. You so, have been doing that, man. You've harassed me on here. You've harassed me in real life. Mm. Dude, you had one of your goons throw a freaking brick through the windshield of my mom's car around. No, the no, sir. Oh, then, then is there a police report for that as well? It, no, and it, it would have to be indicating the accused here. No, the, the problem with that was they didn't necessarily want to call attention to it because at the time the um, the license plate registration had expired and it was already going to be expensive enough to replace the windshield. The thought of having to um, then also pay additional fines on top of that was just too much to stomach. You know, the more I learn about the Wilkins expired tags and shit like that, I, I know people that do that. Those fucking stupid motherfuckers. I have family members that do that. Not many, but, you know, I have a couple of them. It's not good, man. Get your fucking tags. Like, you can't afford, you know, like, $70, $80 shit. So, I don't, I don't know what it is in other states. You know, there's a lot of states out there. I'm sure in California they charge you twice as much. Got to pay for those government 100% pensions somehow, right? Well, let's watch a little bit more Cyrax. He's so ridiculously out there i mean it's it's kind of hard to watch but at the same his scabs are real bad though aren't they fucking scabs are bad today he needs to do something about that i'm sure there's some kind of herbs or roots or fucking mushroom soup or there's something he could do for that i guarantee i don't know man i can't see someone having that for all of human history and they're not being some kind of herbal remedy for it Maybe you should go see what a Chinese uh, herbologist or whatever. But yeah, let's watch this shit. And Marty, why don't you? And Marty, why don't you explain to her I understand. how you're constantly calling people to my house at all hours of the morning and all hours of the night, and having people from Craigslist showing up here? It sounds all like you can, going all on. You can screw with me. That really and, sounds like paranoid thinking. Like there's no. Oh, right. that, yeah. CIA, have you not seen the CIA? How many times has he done that on live stream? I mean, is there the, the, do numbers go that high? Huh. You better start counting, dude. <laughs> well, so here's the thing, though. There's no there evidence. Okay, that Marty, you do. Marty. I do appreciate uh, 
Mr. Mr. CIA hole uh, chiming in with his opinion and his perspective of the situation. Unfortunately, oh, if we were going by that, Mr. Music Biz Marty could bring up his mm. friends and they could corroborate his story. So we can't go by hearsay, Mr. Wilkins. So do you want to see evidence of a real crime? Like, I'm of, of not just talking about vandalism. I'm not talking about harassment. I'm yeah, talking. Here's the thing, Miss Kelly. This isn't just hearsay. If you guys actually go back, and I'm sure you guys probably could. I don't know if you guys would be able to, but if you guys could, if you guys are able to go back and look at all his previous channels that have been reported, there is actual video evidence on those channels of him actually making calls to my house pretending to be me, pretending to be family members of mine, to not only people on Craigslist, to male strippers, to all kinds of people that we don't know who they are. Yeah, and, and, he, and this he, was not he, at your behest. You didn't request male strippers at any No, time. I did not. No. Chance, was, Chance, was, Chance does have a track record of, of gay antics, to be fair. No, I do not, Marty. Now, Blind stop. Billy? Blind Billy Chance? Marty, that's outside of YouTube, man. That I'm is far saying. outside. No, that is far outside I'm of YouTube. Saying. I'm talking about shit that you've done on YouTube to me for the well, last so year. Step not down. outside of YouTube, man. You have sat there and you have called male strippers while on this platform, while on a live stream, he will call people to come scrap in my house at all hours of the night, called police on me for literally a welfare check for no freaking reason. Yeah, and then Marty calls Chance's mom and calls her a cunt bag. Yeah, which he has. That, that was off YouTube. No, it was not. There's, yeah. been, there's been a couple of times where you've done it in the past. The only reason why those videos aren't around anymore. I think she is a cunt bag. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think that she is a cunt bag. How about that? She, Look, she that... raised him. She raised him and a rapist and a fruitcake. Wow. That doesn't fall far from the tree. She wow. must be playing the, 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 this point. This is exactly what we were hoping, Miss Kelly. This is exactly what we were hoping you would see. Well, he, look, he started this. I only have so much patience. I no, I simply came up to confront you about the things that you've done to me over the last seven years, dude. I'm just stating yeah, the, my opinion, the chicken or the egg, Marty. The chicken or the egg, boy. Okay. Well, so, yeah. Well, that's I, that's that, Marty, I simply came awesome. up here to confront you about all the messed up stuff that you've done well, I have some me. evidence. I have some evidence. Of chance. Marty, they, Marty, they have the evidence, dude. They've seen it all. I've got one thing that I think that will turn the apple cart in my favor. And that's what you I would be very about. interested. So this is a man who was accused, I think falsely, of committing a murder in Akron at the New York style pizza shop. Oh yeah, that's the thing, Nick. I didn't oh. fucking or so, so what you're so what you're saying is that I murdered my best friend, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe I mean I'm not letting people draw their own oh, conclusions. All right, Marty, let me ask you this. If I murdered him, then why is the guy that actually Please. killed him still sitting in prison? On 12 to 15 years. You want to get very... dangerous, Marty. Wow. We can get dangerous, wow. What does that look like? Wow. That is weird. Because the next that boy, the I guarantee you, Marty. And this is for you too, Schmeckle. I rest my case. The next I boy. I rest my case with this PLS. In your head, mean. bitch. You see what I mean? This is what this man is doing. One of these men has a threat. Hey, CIA. Dude. CIA, do you not agree that this man right here that you just witnessed doing this, do you not agree that he's full of crap? Look at the two men. I mean, one guy's black, one guy has shoulders, the other guy is Marty, the man, Marty, listen, bro, the man that killed my best friend is sitting on 12 to 15 years in prison right now. People are wrongfully convicted all the time. Matter of fact, Marty. Mr. Music Biz Marty, could you email me that video? I, I would be very interested in having a copy of that. This guy, sure. listen, there's no if you type in Zach Hussein, uh, Akron pizza shop murders, the man that actually killed him is sitting on 15 to 20 years in prison right now. You can actually check um, the police records. The man is sitting in prison right now. This is the kind of stuff that this man does. He does this stuff to make me look like shit so that no one will believe me. And he does this stuff when he knows he's getting caught. He does this stuff when he knows that he's getting in serious trouble. He's done this how many times now? 
CIA, every time he's, like, how many times in the last month has he done this when we called him on his crap and yeah, corrected him? Yeah. I mean, Chance, wouldn't you agree that you bear a much stronger resemblance to the shooter than Shaquille Anderson? No, because the dude was black. Let's take a look at it again. The dude was black, man. Well, so, the, yeah, he was, the, the, the convicted guy was black. Let's take hey, a look. Hey, 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 nice, nice video, dude. So, hang on. Someone just someone just asked for a monkey video in chat. I just, was just complaining. So is that guy black? Is that guy black? Yeah, we all know that you edited that, dude. No, it's off the news. That is not me, dude. I can send you. Matter of fact, matter fact like if, you. if that's me, Nick, then why don't you pull up that the That does look like a lighter skin tone. But that's the thing, though. It's not me. As a matter of fact, Miss Kelly, I can tell you how they did it. They photoshopped that shit. I can send you I a direct know that's Photoshop because the man that is sitting in prison right now is the man that killed him. Now knock your shit off, Nick. You know damn well I didn't do it. You know damn well you photoshopped that shit. Now shut the hell up and sit down. Matter of fact, matter of fact, Nick, why don't you call up Zach's family and get him on panel? Why don't you ask them yourself since you know how to get a hold of them? Ask them. They'll tell you that the man that did it is sitting in prison right now. Cyrax is completely unhinged at this point. I very rarely, you know, he's, <laughs> can you, it's not real, damn it. I know it's not, I want it to be real so bad, but, man, you know the way that Chance was talking to real YouTube exec, real YouTube it wouldn't come on Marty's, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? Yeah, let's watch some more of this shit. They, go ahead. Go they ahead. have the privacy of your second. Go ahead. So call you're them the up, best, man. You're the best call friend. Come on, you're man. Come on, man. Call him up, dude. You Can know damn well that the man that murdered him is sitting in prison right now. That's why you're scared. That's why you're doing this, because you're getting caught. And you yeah. do this every time, man. And I'm tired of it. You need to back the hell off, and you and your two friends need to leave me alone. It don't matter whether I'm making a merch shot for my fans. It but don't matter whether I'm making videos shot. on here. It don't matter what I'm doing. The two, the three of you idiots need to leave me the awesome, hell alone. Boy. You need to leave my family alone, and you need to leave my friends alone. There's people in chat that are saying the eyes were a dead giveaway. That's because it was photoshopped. Well, I can send you a link to the. I can pull up the news hey, station. Guess what? I have the original fucking news video. Pull it up, Chance. Pull it up. Oh my god, dude! I would be interested in seeing the original. Oh, okay. I'm glad I did. Give me just one sec here to. You so got it. You here. Hang on. So, do you think that I control News Five Cleveland? Clearly not, right? Is so that a question directly matter towards fact, me? Or? You yeah. matter of fact, this is the original video of this man being convicted right here. So you'll see News 5. Hang on. Hang on. Hundreds of thousand subscribers. Hey, let me share my screen. Marty, let me share my I'm screen, my screen, dude. screen first. I'm, well, I'm saying he's wrong. So look, News 5 Cleveland chance, 300,000 subscribers. Clearly okay, that's not let, let, me, let me share my screen right quick, man. Mm -hmm. Pull my screen up. Let let me show my evidence, dude. I'm asking you if Marty, shut I the hell up and let me share my screen, dude. Well, I can tell you this: I don't work for News Five Cleveland. And guess this, what? I have the original video. This is the original video right here. The man being convicted. Oh, right what's, what's the matter, Nick? You don't is want me to show my piece, bro? News Five Cleveland: A man that bears a strong resemblance to chance. Cut the video, Nick, and let me share my screen so I can show the real evidence. Because this I is have the evidence. evidence where the man got convicted. I have the original video where yeah. the man got convicted. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me, let me share my screen, dude. Come on. Well, I my will, but. Right there, pull it up. Okay, well, screen, dude. Before I do that, before you do that, just one no, question. There is no before you do that. Let me show my evidence. Come on. So, chance. Come on, Nick. Let me chance. share my this evidence. This is the original bro. shooting video. Come on, Nick. Let me share my evidence, dude. Come on. So, Why are you not sharing it? Well, because you're falsely accusing me. You're, fal no, you're, false, you're, you're, false, you're falsely accusing me of photoshopping evidence. This is the evidence. That's not false, dude. That's legit. But this is clearly looks like you to me, more so than the black. You are so full of fucking shit. Okay, I'll play the video. Sure. 
right here is the original video where the man got convicted. Yeah, Today, wrongfully. The grand jury indicted the man police say yeah. shot and killed a And look at the two guys. One's you and the other's a black guy. Shaquille Do you Anderson not realize that when a black dude steps in the light, his skin's going to be lighter? It was not like that. Yeah, like that. Here we Challenge go. The same footage, Chance. The same footage. Money well, guess what, dude? It's not me. Where did his shoulders go? Back up on your video. Where did his shoulders go? Let me ask you this thing, Nick. Let yeah. me ask you this. Show me evidence. Why is it black guy doing this? All right, let me ask you this. If yeah. it was me, if it was actually me, yeah. then why did the police not come here and investigate me and interrogate me? Is there yeah, Mr. Wilkins, you do why? accuse Mr. Marty there. of killing people. I was well. not there, Miss Kelly. My family can actually, as a matter of fact, we am going to go grab my family real quick. Well, but it, it, yeah, so do, yeah, yeah, do that. That's, a, that's, actually, that's actually a great idea. Hold on, let me go get my mommy and Ed. I wonder how the YouTube executive is going to react to Ed. Because Ed looks like a straight up fucking crackhead. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's that too. So this could go either way. He's going to get his mommy and, and stepdaddy to come get in front of the YouTube, the fake moderator or whatever the fuck that person is. All this has been his chance cussing and acting like a complete and total fool. Any professional, half-assed professional person would have nothing to do with him at that point. But, yeah, let's watch some more of this crazy, interesting log house specimen that we know about named Chance Wilkins. Originally, the formerly known as Patrick Smith. But, yeah, let's watch this. That will really, I mean, that would help. It's just weird. The, from his mugshot, he suddenly has shoulders. When he enters the pizza shop, they're gone. That, that's certainly a very interesting video. No, you gotta admit, the lights were really bright in that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the lights in that shop were really bright. I mean, they had those those fluorescent lights that um, that you know caused people to have migraines. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm sorry for. Sorry, I was coughing. That's no, okay. <laughs> I, I feel wrong for calling his mom a cunt bag on your platform, but he's very difficult to deal with. Yeah, and why why is it that you had um, uh, or somebody had Zach's brother on that stream, and and you guys made him say that Zach didn't even know Chance? Is he, well, he, he like he knew me, like he didn't know me oh, that well, but he. Who's your character me. witness, Chance? Well, his best friend. I'm right upstairs right now. Okay. One of your horses. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Did I or did I was when Zach got shot and killed? Where was I? At home. Where which room was I in? I don't remember that. Wasn't it that room right there across mm. the hall? Suspicious. No, you've never been in that room. No, like when you had your setup up here, when you had your oh, room. Yeah. Now the person that killed Zach, was he black or was he white? talking to me yeah oh he was black thank you but this person's white so therefore did i or did i not did i not or did i kill zach yes no sir. you didn't kill zach thank you okay well so <laughs> she's a big well, nothing nick he's there a no, there, and no, no, three check the alibi box right there done okay. i was at home when that happened nick I was at home. Matter of fact, when I found out about it, like I said, my mom was on the computer in the other room, and I happened to go in there for something, and I got a message from one of his friends, well, one of our friends, saying that he was killed. As soon as I found that out, after walking back in here, I broke down into fucking tears because that was somebody that I actually knew. Yeah, he may not have known me that well, but I still consider him a close friend to an extent. Well, you said best oh, friend. Marty, oh, Marty, for you to do that shit, well, you said it's best friend. Shit, dude. That's a cop out, Nick. Best friend so, or just. Kelly, I... And Miss Kelly, with that being said, I read my case. This man is a liar. He is a piece of shit. He is honestly an internet bully. And I honestly feel like he needs to be treated as such. And he needs to be removed permanently from your guys' platform. Yeah, Miss Kelly, if you're, I think if YouTube is a place that would welcome 
people who are just absolutely clueless that have delusions of grandeur that think that they're the best of every best at everything that have never failed at anything in their lives that are just absolutely completely out of touch with what reality really is then i think you know what your answer is and what you have to do yeah i understand. So, it's very hard to wrangle somebody whilst in delusion yeah um so uh, like my only issue what was just said is I don't know a single mother who wouldn't lie for their child to protect them. So I'm not sure how much weight that evidence will carry. I do appreciate her testimony as far as that situation goes, but. Yeah, I do know that uh, like a spouse's alibi is, is usually looked at rather skeptically. It's kind of yes. like. Unfortunately, yes. Hector, it's not necessarily admissible. So let's talk Turkey here. Um, well, you know, I'm. There's a lot of allegations thrown on both sides. At a, but um, yeah, I think uh, Miss Kelly has some news for you. Um, okay, good or bad? I don't know. It's not up, not to me. You know, I'm can I ask where you're leaning right now? Here for support. Well, I like when I told you to try to get you to, to drop the link. Is that you know, Chance would just like to see you and he go there, go your separate ways, and pretend one another just never even met each other and you didn't exist in each other's worlds and <clears throat> oh and it comes out man the truth comes out cyrax does what he always does people he barely knows if something bad happens to them or they die or they get cancer or whatever else chance you know he's fucking they're my best friend pity me you know he, he tries to bring the pity to himself you know like him losing his friend is somehow even worse than the act of his friend being murdered you know in his mind and that's why we you know don't particularly care too much for cyrax because that's his personality all around you know play the victim um downplay everything you do and try and act like everything else that anybody else does is the end of the world and that's just you know, that's just psychology. You know, that's what you can expect from Chance because, you know, Chance is fucking insane. He's He's got some shit. I wonder if he's got autism. I bet you Chance has autism in addition to all his other shit. Delusions of grandeur, fucking bipolar personality disorder, perhaps maybe even very mild schizoaffective disorder. But, yeah, there's a lot wrong with Chance, you know. Some psycho, some insane people are just like Chance, you know, and they have delusions of grandeur and shit like that. You know, they're not hearing voices and seeing things. So don't, don't think hearing voices and seeing things is the only thing that makes you crazy. Because if your mind is broken enough, you know, like Daniel Larson, you're, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, let's get into it. Well, um, so, of course, that would be ideal. But I've done that before. I've left him alone, and he always starts poking at me. Uh, he'll never make a stream without mentioning me, which has never happened, right? Mm, I don't know. Um, I know that Miss Kelly provided you with the interview from the other day, and um, we weren't really that thrilled with that entire thing. But, um, you know, I think you know what you're up against at this point. Well, yeah, I, well, I thought that it was definitely going to be curtains, but he just really is his own worst enemy sometimes. Uh, the inability to control some of the anger was a little concerning for me. Well, so you're right. saying there's a chance. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I can't publicly say my decision, but I don't believe either parties is are completely innocent here. I don't know. Maybe, re, maybe reviewing. Um, yeah, I don't even. I don't even know. Marty keeping a straight face and still pretending like that chick is real, man. Anytime somebody that the first time he said fuck, he would be done, you know. Any real YouTube person would be like, Sir, I'm not gonna listen to your profanity anymore. I'm sorry, but this meeting is over. You know, we, we, we say fucking shit and all that, you know, a lot, most of us guys on YouTube. You you don't it doesn't ever really, you know, click with some of us that other people don't cuss that way and other people only cuss when they're angry. So sometimes I'll have people like I'll write him a message and cause I say shit and fuck and God damn it. And you know, and shit like that, that they'll think that I was mad at him or something like that. I've actually had that happen before. It's like, nah, dude, I ain't mad at you. That's just the way I talk. It's like, dude, off Taylor Park says, you know, I can't, uh, I can't express myself without profanity. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's watch some more of this. That is funny though. His inability to control his anger is concerning. 
Both sides are guilty. Da, 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 da. Get the fuck out of here. She, I got to give her a... I'd give her a 9 out of 10 on the acting skills. That's what I would give her. So, uh, I have one question. I know that he's made like these murder accusations all the time. Um, was he ever able to substantiate further that a bullet entered the window? Unfortunately, at this time, I have no evidence of said bullet. <laughs> wow. So I, I have mean, requested it multiple times. Um, chibi Chibi, working on it. That would indicate a, a shot was fired and entered the residence. Nothing. Um, you know, when, if I'm going to make an allegation, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up. You know what I mean? And, and I think that I've at least raised the possibility that he was guilty of, of murdering. He starts off with a best friend and then just some guy that I knew and, you know, he can't ever keep his story straight. Um, <laughs> I, I was surprised uh, that one caught me off guard, but I think just in the heat of the moment with all of the, um, the stress of the entire yeah. situation, I think he misspoke. I mean, they were definitely best friends. I mean, he even went over there like right after Zach passed away, right? I didn't the family invite him over or his mom or something. I thought I remember a story about that. He makes up all these stories, and you know, and I don't know about no, 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 no. So you're telling me, remember he claimed that he was on like this Google Hangouts with Chester Bennington, and you could tell that like it was just a poor Photoshop job, and he like lopped a picture of himself over the panel guests. No, no, no. The the that was the the problem with that was the screen was broken, and when he <laughs> okay. took a picture of the screen. <laughs> The screen, it looked, it appeared to be a little bit warped. Ever been mm-hmm. on an airplane? Um, you, know, you look out there. Yeah, well, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Unfortunately, even if that was true, being a liar on YouTube doesn't really, you know, lend itself to banning. Yeah. I, um, yeah, it's too bad. Otherwise, you know, Marty would have been gone you seven years ago if that were the case. There mm. wouldn't be many YouTube users, users if we banned everybody who lied. Yeah. Oh, wow. So here maybe, comes Liar maybe you, now. Maybe you hey, should. Hey, CIA. Yo. Um, just to let you know real quick, dude, because um, I do have to take him as and stuff for, obviously, the stuff that I'm doing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. just, uh, but, just, uh, but just make sure you check your messages real quick. Oh, yeah. I'll do it right now. All right, man. And Miss Kelly, I just want to say thank you, and I definitely do appreciate what you guys have been doing to try to help. I do appreciate you showing up on panel and at least giving this a, a try, so I can at least see yeah, the interactions. Like, like, I, like I said, I do apologize for nothing. Uh, I do apologize for somewhat of the way that I, good. but you just, I just hope that you understand that after what this man has put me through for the last seven years, and the way that he lies and the way he conducts himself sometimes. It's really hard to hold that composure with the way he does what he does things. I understand. It's a very distressing situation. Yeah, but again, I definitely do appreciate the help. You know, mom's giving up on you. She knows. <laughs> um, yeah, Miss Kelly, so I just wanted to let you know that um, I think um, I'd like to illustrate for you just um, an, an attribute, that, an admirable attribute that really uh, exemplifies the type of character we're dealing with is that um, Chance was aware that he was on the verge of flipping out and he knew that that wasn't something that he should be doing on YouTube so he kindly removed himself from the stream he just asked that I made you aware of that so, so I, is he just like that, that will be noted so I, I appreciate his control so presumably he's screaming nigger and, and flashing his penis out in his room in an uncontrollable rage like no, but at least he's doing it off of YouTube. So I guess there's some. I'll give credit where it's due. I'm not an unfair guy. I've always just wanted to see him grow, and improve as a man. That's the whole point of this on my end. I know that he's missing a father figure, and I try to step in and uh, fill the void. That's that's very admirable. Thank you, Miss Kelly. Since I have you here, and we, you're a captive audience, relatively speaking, and um, there is some. Uh, there's a lot of other concerns on YouTube. Um, in my opinion, there are other streamers out there that um, are more um, in violation of 
just the YouTube code of, of, of YouTube code of cit- good citizenry. You ever heard of this guy, Tyree Sneed? <laughs> well, I have not heard of this gentleman. Well, I probably shouldn't take your eye off the ball. Um, but yeah, talk about a full time job. I mean, you guys would have your hands full for sure. And that's why he left the stream. No, he left the stream because he couldn't handle the heat. He couldn't smell what The Rock was cooking or some shit like that. I don't know. Maybe he realized that his WWE little tough guy shit was making him look like a fool, you know? I I would, I would, couldn't say those kinds of things that he says. And you know what I really hate that he says? Do you want to know why? He saw that in some fucking British gangster movie. I can't remember what movie it is, but some dude is going to kill some dude. He's like, do you want to know why? And I, I can't remember the rest of it. But, yeah, that's where that comes from. And it bothers the shit out of me when he says it. And sometimes he says it all British, too, so I know that's what the fuck it came from. But, yeah, let's watch some more of this shit. Okay, that was Tyree Sne- How do you Maybe. spell Sne- S-N-E-A-D? Um, S-H-I-T-H-E-A-D. So, S-N-E-E-D. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's worth looking into. I will so definitely throw this out there too. I, th- I think the CA whole guy is secretly in love with Chance. Like that's just something that I'm tossing out there. Oh, uh, whatever. Their romantic relationship would be none of my concern. So okay, well let's pretend that it was. Isn't it kind of like a finders keepers type of deal? Say that again. I mean, wouldn't it be like a finders keepers type of deal where like I saw him first? You know, I don't. Think I'm, I'm responding to. Um, very important data coming across my news okay. over here. All right. Well. Anyway. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. I can only, I can only imagine. Um, mm. So it, it, it was after listening to uh, the conversation that you had with uh, Chance, I really thought that I was sunk. Um, should I kind of just forget about Rumble? Like, am I just kind of like, are we good here? Like, water under the bridge, or when? When? Well, when you know, think what, real should... quick, Miss um, Kelly, I, I know that Marty's lawyer um, was able to wrangle um, that recording out of you guys. Um, if we were to draft up something along the same lines, could we receive a copy of the interview you had with Marty? I'm sure we would review the submission, and it would be approved. I understand that because the chance was the accusing party that, you know, maybe a little bit more loose with the documents, but yeah, we would appreciate being able to give that a listen. Um, Cause I just have a feeling Marty's going to play it. And uh, well, yeah. So uh, I just want to throw this out there that chance has done all sorts of terrible things before we came into contact, raping a blind boy, strangling his grandmother, killing Zach Hussein. Like the list just goes on and on. You know, there's a reason that he was 20-something and still in high school, never even graduated. You know, uh, I understand that you might see something in him, but maybe it's just not worth all the hassle. Like, yeah, he doesn't yeah. even you. It, it's hard to parse together. I This blind Billy, th- this is the first I'm hearing of this? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, so, I understand why, if this is the accusation against Mr. Wilkins, this is something he would want to bring up himself. Well, so. here's, but here's like the gall in this guy. He tried to claim that he was a rape victim, and well, it's it. on YouTube related. You know, it was he brought it up on YouTube. He well, brought it up. I think, yeah, but wasn't it kind of just chalked up as um, kind of like some gay hijinks going awry, just amongst? Two teenage boys, isn't that what it was? Blind Billy's friend said that it, it broke Blind Billy. Oh, I, don't like, I don't like to hear that. I never, yeah, heard he that became, I never heard that before. He became a furry afterwards. Yeah, well, this is getting a little bit too heavy for me, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of here. All right. Yeah. Miss Kelly, thank you. Really appreciate your help. We look forward to uh, hearing from you soon. I like to think that CIA is in it. I don't know if he is or not. No one's that fucking stupid, are they? I mean, are they? No, no one can be this dumb. No, nobody's that dumb. Come on, man. We know, we know. Come on, man. 
not knowing about Blind Billy. Everybody talks about Blind Billy all the fucking time. Shit, we're all fucking doing a hashtag justice for Blind Billy. You know, and that's what we all do. That <laughs> <coughs> Poor Chance, man. It don't look good for Chance. Because you... Well, it doesn't matter. She's not a real fucking YouTube person. But if she was, you know, it'd, it'd be all over for Chance as soon as she looked up Blind Billy. And then she's like, well, he would have brought that up. No, 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 no. Not Chance. Because he did it. That's why he can't bring it up. But yeah, let's watch some more of this shit. Okay, I will send you over an email so you can respond with a request for that interview. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. You have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. So if you had to ballpark the chances of me being allowed to stay on this platform, would you say it's 50-50, better or worse, or you can't say? I, I can't really say because people may alter their stories and their strategy, mm -hmm. per se. If they think yeah. one is working, one is not working. I can't give any indication as to where I'm leaning. Fair. Um, so if I were to show you this video one more time, uh, just because so I think, of, uh, you know, a video speaks a million words, where a picture speaks a thousand. A, <laughs> you had to leave one word. a very damning video. Yeah. We'll see one man has shoulders, the other does not. Games. Do you want to get dangerous, Marty? We can get dangerous, bitch. You know, so he cited, like, the lighting in the room, too, of skin tone, whereas this man is, is brown, you know, like, exactly the same skin color remains uh, as it does in other photos. But this guy is clearly pale white as a ghost. It's like it's Chance. It's true. It doesn't look like the whole video is washed out. No. Hang on one second here. Um... Oh, so we, really quickly, uh, Zach's brother was once on a panel, too, and said that Zach and Chance really had no correlation. Like, they were not friends. They didn't. They barely knew each other. Like, I don't know. Um, I'll say this, that if he came up with the bullet and was willing to put that forward, then maybe you could take the allegation more seriously. He just goes around lying and, and defaming me. It's like it's kind of hurtful. No, I understand. I would definitely be upset if there were allegations made about me as well. Mm -hmm. um, I told him repeatedly uh, if he was to provide a bullet, any evidence of a bullet having had been in his uh, residence or in his mattress, this would make this a very easy decision for us over here. Because that, that's something we take very seriously. Uh, would you be a I have you not received anything yet. Would you be opposed to me playing the conversation that you had with Chance? I know that you had to uh, send it to me. Yeah, um, I complied with the request. So if if you want, you can. It It is your property now. You do have a copy. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely seems like you're, and I know you can't really uh, put your hand on the table here, but. I'm sensing different vibes here, like almost like he just shot himself in his swollen foot. Uh, it, it wasn't the best performance, I would mm. say. Mm. Uh, there, there was a lot of talking over you, which I didn't really appreciate, because if he was looking for explanations, he wasn't giving you a chance to provide them. Yeah, I, you know, I really do regret calling his mother a cunt bag. Um, mm. It's emotions not something got you can but I, I can't exactly punish you for having an opinion. No, it's just that he forces me to be like this sometimes, you know? Like, he, he, he pushes me to my worst when, you know, I can be behaving civilly. And he came in right off the bat, as he usually does, like a, a little asshole. Uh, I'm not sure if I could agree with it characterization without uh, revealing too much. Sure. Or yeah, well, I so, I'm going to pull this up here. Um, if, if 
Okay, I'm just gonna ask my my console here really quickly. Um, Is it possible that we can both coexist on YouTube? Like, I don't really necessarily want, I don't want to deprive him from earning a living for his family. You know, like, I understand that um, times are hard. Uh, they're, it would sure be a shame if they went to their grave knowing the chance was just a total failure all around. I'm sure no parent wants that. As, as of now, I still was not provided uh mr wilkins if you're listening uh those w-2 forms i i would still need uh proof that you were earning money on youtube to uh follow through with the claim of loss of you know any type of financials or money okay everyone here is, is demanding that i play this video of a chance uh stalking an eight-year-old child like way before we even got to know each other. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you'd be up for seeing that. Uh, I I would definitely, uh, it would help in my assessment. Okay, yeah, I don't know if anyone like has that on hand. I don't know really where, uh, where to find it. Let me see. Let me take a moment. Okay, here we go, excellent, excellent, okay. In 2018, before we came into contact, and at least it's a seven year war, it's inaccurate. Oh, shit, so it's not playing. Guys, okay. Seriously, I need help like that. Like, this is not a joke. Like, I could end up in jail for something I didn't do. So, I, I seriously need your guys' help on this. Hey, what's up to whoever's watching, man? Um, whoever's watching, I seriously, I need help. Like, this is legit, for real. Like, I need fucking help. Um, I don't know how to put it. Except, long story short, this girl named Diana Erica on Facebook added me. All right? She's good friends with my buddy Paul. Very good friends. And I thought maybe he had sent her over, you know, my way to talk to me. You know, whatever. Well, me and her got to talking, got to know each other really well. You know, we got to liking each other. Well, we did certain things on FaceTime because she wanted to FaceTime with me. So, you know, we did what any normal couple would do because she's in Texas, I'm here. And so, you know, just normal couple type shit. Well, this girl wanted money out of me. I didn't have it. I told her, I was like, I can raise the money within a week. You know, let me know. Like, you know, I can raise the money within a week. And that wasn't good enough for her. And I kept on trying for like hours to, you know, talk to her and be like, look, give me more time. Well, this girl went off. And little did I know that when me and her were doing those certain things on FaceTime, she was fucking recording the video. And... When I told her that I'm not going to take this shit anymore, that I want her number so we can work out a deal, she went and posted the video up on Vimeo. 
you know, I think that's like pretty unfortunate. You know, like that's not cool. There should be some kind of discussion. Yeah, definitely that. not. Definitely yeah. not cool. Maybe, maybe revenge porn. I don't know. Like so. I, don't I know, feel like, like you know, it would qualify as revenge porn. Sure. Because it's just like YouTube and it's just as big. She went and posted a video of me up on fucking Vimeo. And I can tell you the guys the title right off the bat. Chance Wilkins wins in a webcam before any. Is um, that another bullet? It says right or... here, Chance Wilkins wins. What was that? Was that another bullet? What was that turnaround? Uh, I don't know. I didn't hear it. I, I didn't hear it. I, I, think I, I didn't hear it. I was curious if the video cut out with the audio at that point. Okay, so. Yeah, my guess would be he's looking over his shoulders, see if his mother was going to come in. He often tries to hide his crime from his mother. You know, so that will be my guess. In webcam before an eight-year-old girl wins. In webcam before an eight-year-old girl. An eight-year-old girl. Oof. Yeah. Like, I know YouTube has a distinction between the made-for-kids content and the adult content. And Yes. Uh, ooh, that, that one's a little rough. It's a little hard to have a, a poker face when, when that is being revealed. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know. Like, I know this, this wants to be a family friendly platform. I don't know, screaming the N word and whipping his penis out constantly, like over and over and over again, is really uh, conducive. It's, no. it's frankly unacceptable. Well, yeah, that was the end of the pertinent, you know, stuff. And then I don't know if it's in there or not. It, then she found out, you know, that the person said they're eight. Not really that interesting. And then Bowser got on there, and I hate Bowser. I despise that guy. I do, though, and he's such an asshole. Like, in his apology video, yeah, she wasn't underage. She was 17 years old. You're not a pedophile, but you're still a fucking freak because you grabbed a girl's chest. And you said you did it for five seconds? Five seconds is a fucking eternity, dude. Like, if you accidentally touched a girl's breast... Your hand should be away from it within like a quarter of a second and she wouldn't even care. But you, you, anyway, he grabbed that tit and he's like five minutes. And then after he, he, he gives the apology, he's throwing her name out on the internet. He says some crazy shit about, yes, her sister was talking to me and she had bigger boobs and she was into me. He's a fucking asshole. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I guess Cyrax made a video after this. I You can just go watch it on Inward Boys channel. It's only like 12 minutes. I'm tired. This video is fucking plenty fucking long. So I hope you guys have a good night or good day or whatever the fuck, whatever, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And this is Brad signing off later on.